I'm back everyone. This is part two of the Boba book review. Um, as I was filming the previous episode, I ran out of batteries as I was talking about one of the drinks. And I'm going to get back to that, find that one right now. Here, ice sweet potato latte. Let's see if the resolution looks fine. I want to make sure you guys could see both pages. Perfect. Yeah, this is Ice Sweet Potato Latte. This one, um, basically you just take the potato and you bake it and then you blend it in a blender with milk and sugar and it gives you a nice orange colored latte. Although I prefer to use the purple one so you can get a nice purple, Barney purple kind of color beverage. Black sesame latte, same thing. You don't need to make the puree first. You can just put everything in the blender and um, blend it all up to make the latte. It's a lot faster. This one's got some ginger and honey in it, which looks delicious. This I'm going to make tonight. This is the roasted banana milk. And banana tastes really different after you roast it than like using it raw. So if you roast your banana, you'll get a more caramelly flavor and it's a more complex flavor. And then you blend it with milk and it's like the best milkshake ever. Not sure what a coffee tea plover is. Ume is plum, so pickled plums are a very popular flavor in beverages in Japan and also some parts of China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. Here's a recipe that shows you how to make fermented ume syrup. Um, in Taiwan, a lot of different Cafes have their own recipes for making this, so it'll taste different in depending on the cafes you go to because every cafe has their own secret recipe on making that. And then we get into specialty drinks. This is the part of the book that goes into more experimental type flavors. Um, this one is really nice. This is a matcha latte with strawberry and boba, and it has three different layers because the, the reason why there's three different layers is really because um, each layer is of a different density and so if you put in the red layer and then you put in the white layer it's not going to mix because the bottom layer always has to be more dense so the rule of thumb is the bottom layer tends to be sweeter than the top layer but this is a really pretty drink to make it kind of reminds me about the Italian flag this is also another variation of that this is like a dirty matcha some more how to Instagram your beverages. It's a little strange they put this here. It seems kind of self-serving. Like I know a lot of these cookbooks are marketing material for um, the establishments themselves. But here they're actually encouraging readers to help them market Bobo Guy's iced tea. So here's a woman taking a picture of a Bobo Guy's beverage that she has on her hand has nothing to do with making beverages, but it's in here anyway. Japanese coffee cola. I don't know if I want coffee with cola, but if I was like super tired and I need a jolt of caffeine, I might consider it. These are marmalades. Uh, marmalades are basically kind of like jam and the way drinks made with marmalades works is you would make the marmalade or the jam and then you would mix it with ice and water and it gives it a really nice refreshing flavor. So this is a situation where you want to make the marmalade separately from the beverage because the marmalade you can keep in the fridge for a long time and then you would just mix it or blend it with ice and water to get the actual beverage. So there's a peaches and cream version with salted cheese guava with kiwi, yuzu pear, that's a very Japanese flavor, matcha sparkling, oh, sparkling rose matcha, this is very refreshing, it's like a dairy free version of a matcha latte, the bottom part is rose syrup, then you have some sparkling water, then you have some matcha, definitely really refreshing, like the rose adds a nice floral note to the, the earthy taste of the matcha. Matcha palmer is lemon iced tea with a layer of matcha on top. Strawberry jasmine tea fresca. 
you're basically making jasmine tea and then mixing it with some strawberry puree. Strawberry Kalpiko. If you've never tried Kalpiko before, you should definitely get it at a Japanese supermarket. They're basically concentrated liquid yogurt and you mix it with water and it's so delicious. It's like sweet and tart and then you can add different flavorings to it like strawberry purees. So this is really refreshing. Super, super popular across all parts of Asia. Another way, great way to drink Kalpiko, which they don't, oh yeah, actually they do have it here. So they're using sparkling water instead of regular water, which I recommend. But regular water works just fine. Like a lot of times I'll drink just iced Kalpiko during the summertime with ice and water and it's just so super refreshing. If you get a bottle of Kalpiko, it'll last you a long time, especially the large glass bottles that they sell at the Japanese or Asian supermarkets. The packaging of that is pretty interesting. Like it comes wrapped it's in a, the liquid yogurt comes in a glass brown bottle, but then on the outside it's wrapped in like white packaging paper. So you may not even know what it is, but if you go to like maybe the tea section, they might have bottles of Cal Pico there, or you can ask any of the store clerks and they should be able to direct you to the right place. Here's a Pineapple mango coconut drink. Also very Southeast Asian in flavor. Pink drink is like almond milk or cashew milk with strawberries. So my version of the pink drink, again, I don't make the puree separately than the drink. I just put everything in a blender and blend it at the same time. It's just much easier. So I make a really delicious strawberry cashew milk and it's got strawberry, lime juice, vanilla, maple syrup, cashew, and water. If you want to make cashew milk, always make sure, or any other kind of nut milk, always make sure to soak your nuts in water overnight. It'll soften the milk and improve the texture of the milk. This is what I was talking about. This is a purple sweet potato latte. Um, well, it's an ice form here, but the way I make this is I bake the sweet potato until it's super soft. And I, you will usually just bake it in a toaster oven in, on a ceramic plate. So I don't even have to turn on the regular oven. I bake it in a toaster oven until like at 350 to 375 degrees for at least 20 minutes. And then you take a chopstick and you poke the potatoes to make sure it's soft, for, soft first to ensure that it's fully cooked. You take it out of the toaster oven. Then you let the potato cool down and then you put it in a blender with some milk, maple syrup, vanilla, and you get this nice purple beverage. This is the iced kind of slushy version, but I make the liquid version. This is also one of my favorite drinks. And they also serve this at a cafe nearby me too. Hoff flakes are basically plum flakes that are very popular in Asia. I don't know why you would want to make a drink like this, so I'm not sure why this is here. Not my cup of tea, butterfly, butterfly pea flower. This is one of those new things that I'm hesitant to try because it's like if this thing has been around for such a long time, why didn't people discover it, you know, 30, 40 years ago? It's like a really new thing. The color looks a bit uncanny and artificial to me, but apparently it's made with some sort of blue flower in Thailand. I've never had it, so if you guys have had it, you have a strong opinion about it, let me know. Coffee tea mint mojito. So this is coffee with um, milk and mint, which could be a really good combination. Sounds really refreshing for the summertime. Caramel iced milk. It's made with pandan caramel. There's another recipe in here for that. This one has coconut um, oil. This might be more for people on the keto diet, but not something I would try. Yeah, and then the second part, I'm going to skip to the next part, which is boozy boba. So there's a bunch of cocktail type beverages that they have in here. Um, I don't really drink, so I, if I were to make this, I would make the non-alcoholic version. Really pretty pictures. For sure. I can't tell who should get more credit for this book, either the recipe 
creators or the food stylists and photographers. <laughs> You know, some of the hardest parts about putting together a cookbook is making these pretty pictures. And a lot of times in a cookbook you'll have the author of the recipes, but you don't really see credit being assigned to the food stylist, the photographer, the designer. So there's actually a whole staff that puts together a cookbook, and I wish a lot more cookbooks would give equal credit to everyone that puts together a project like this. And then there are recipes for toppings. So a lot of, they do cover all the really popular toppings, like, um, like in this picture right here. You'll get to learn how to make matcha pudding, pandan pudding, strawberry jelly, coffee jelly, grass jelly, black sticky rice. This and this are probably pretty easy to make. Um, some of these require harder to find ingredients like grass jelly requires some sort of herbal extract that you can only find at a Asian grocery store. And then there's a couple more toppings that they show. So the, the almond pudding, egg pudding, mango pudding, there's recipes for that. And then the book ends with kind of more marketing material about the boba guys. Here's um, one of the found. Here's one of the founders with his grandfather. Um, I think this last section is also spe uh, more about the story of the brand and the founders. So you may or may not be interested in those kinds of details. Like personally, I just wanted to learn how to make drinks. Yeah. So this is it. Um, yeah, so this is part two. I wasn't able to film the whole video in one shot because my camera ran out of batteries, but I hope you enjoyed the second part, and definitely leave comments and let me know about uh, what recipes you want to see a video for, or what recipes you want me to share with you. Like, I could email it to you. I have the book. If you don't have the book, I'm more than happy to share. And yeah, thanks for joining me. And the book review of the Boba book. <laughs>